pra você que tá ligado, aqui quem fala é o Spirlandelli, e aí galerinha, como é que vocês estão? Espero que 100% tá aí, é o seguinte mano, finalmente a Techland publicou uma nova gameplay de Dying Light 2, nossa, eu tava muito ansioso pra isso acontecer, tá? Eu compartilhei com vocês recentemente que ela ia compartilhar uma nova gameplay, certo? O negócio tá muito bonito, muito polido, tá? Pelo menos nessa gameplay que eles mostraram tá muito polido e tá muito mais sanguinário que o primeiro jogo, pelo menos eu achei, certo? Comparado àquela gameplay da E3 2019, o jogo tá incrível, certo? Nem vou ficar conversando demais aqui com vocês não, vamos conferir a gameplay lá E se gostou do vídeo, vocês já sabem, né? Likezão grandioso, tamo junto, falou, falou, falou Everyone, we've been quiet for some time Since, like the rest of the world, we had some unforeseen hurdles to clear But the wait is over Let's dive into the open world of Dying Light 2 The last slice of Dying Light 2 showcased the mission from the main storyline. You get out of those fuck. You saw how your decisions influenced the narrative and notably changed the environment. This time, we want to give you a broader look at the game and a sneak peek at some of the things we'll be talking about in upcoming months. In Dying Light 2, you become Aiden Caldwell, an outsider trying to unravel a tangled mystery from his past. Its trail leads him to the city, probably the last bastion of mankind in the world. Oh, shit! At first, you feel like this intense, brutal place will tear you apart. But then you meet the Night Runners, veteran survivors who helped people in better days. By the way, I'm Hakon. You were a Night Runner. You used to help people, remember? Night Runners are gone. Finished. A myth. And although it's not entirely clear you can trust them, you need allies in the dark. <laughs> and these are the modern Dark Ages. It's been 15 years since the apocalypse and the world has changed. The old civilization has fallen, but a new one has been built on its ashes. People fight desperately for scarce resources. The rules are broken, and weakness is punished. She's innocent! Three factions struggle for position in the city. Survivors pride themselves on being able to adapt to any circumstances and cobble together safe zones almost everywhere. Peacekeepers, loyal soldiers, who want to impose their version of law and order and trample all in their path. Renegades, ex-prisoners serving their ruthless colonel, seeking to become sole rulers of the city. Where is Waltz? Make him tell me. Use these factions to reach your goal. Help or harm them to reshape the city to your liking. Just remember, each faction contains complex characters. Nosy Parker, ain't ya? Got some kind of bad habit of yours? So, will you follow cold calculation or your heart? The bazaar needs good people. Help us and you'll find a home here. Some in the city offer no chance for an alliance. Bandits, outlaws, and common thugs live only to plunder and kill, plunging the streets into chaos. Yet, nightfall scares all of them equally. Darkness changes the rules of the world. As the light fails, monsters crawl out of hiding to prey on the poor souls caught outside the safety of UV rays. Hordes of infected pour into the streets like decaying lava. The deadly spawn of 15 years of mutation and evolution. Escape? 
exploit the city's verticality and flee to the roofs. Though even there, you are never safe from swift and deadly virals. Or even greater threat. Yet night brings opportunity as well. Nests rife with infected during the day now lie empty. To explore them, you must tread carefully. But those brave enough to face the terrors of the night can loot a jackpot. Luckily, you have all the tools you need to survive. Your extraordinary parkour skills allow you to navigate even the most treacherous terrain. On the roofs, you can count on your parkour acrobatics to save your life. But often, you'll have to face your enemies head on. And then you have to be smart, resourceful, and determined. We've worked hard on the essence of our combat, making sure swinging a big, meaty weapon is fun, satisfying, and well executed. But even the most brutal fights can be tactical as well. You have multiple ways to hone your skills toward the gameplay style that suits you best. It's up to you if you focus mostly on mobility and parkour, or aggressive, blunt force combat, or a crafty approach where the tools you've created get the job done. Every ability you learn can be a game changer and possibly a new favorite move. Things move fast and quick in Dying Light 2. Each moment matters. Each move could mean triumph or defeat. Choose your actions and friends carefully. Everything you do in the city can reshape the gameplay environment, change the course of the narrative, and decide the fate of the city's residents. But most importantly, you decide your own fate as well. You're about to turn. Make sure to stay human. Ha <laughs> ha!